wholesome. Catherine spills Prince William's annoying habit as husband had children's palates. Despite what the Disney movies of our childhoods would have us believe, no relationship is perfect. Take Prince William and Kate Middleton, for example, who, after over a decade of marriage, still find themselves nagging at each other over the little things. Relatable, right? The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have been married for over a decade, but one of Prince William's messy food habits leaves a sour taste in Kate's mouth. Princess of Wales recently revealed that her husband, the future king, is prone to some rather less civilised eating habits at home, at least when he's eating alone. Kate and Prince William ended their visit to Cyprus while gesturing towards the yellow couches assembled in the room. William joked that the group of men gathered there should remember to keep the pizza off the sofas. Kate Middleton didn't miss a beat, quickly fired back at her husband, you're a nightmare with that. Sure it might have been a playful joke, but we're enjoying the visual image of Wills kicking back on the couch, devouring pizza and binging American football on his 80 inch flat screen. The royal couple will certainly be used to messy eaters and all the difficulties that come with mealtimes for kids as they raise their young family. Kate Middleton gets annoyed when her husband Prince William eats pizza and it's because she's used to tackling her children's eating habits but it's her husband Prince William who drives her up the wall when it comes to messy snacking. William, who is now the direct heir to the British throne, is crazy about eating the takeaway treat on the sofa but it proves to be a headache for Kate when it comes to keeping the furniture at apartment 1A Kensington Palace clean. Back when Diana was alive, two young princes who certainly loved a trip to their local McDonald's were Prince William and Prince Harry. An insider once recalled a day when he was told that Diana and the boys were off out to McDonald's for lunch. And it wasn't necessarily for the food, it's what comes with the chain's famous Happy Meal. I remember the princess came into the kitchen one day and said, Cancel lunch for the boys, I'm taking them out, we're going to McDonald's. Yep, boys loved McDonald's and going out for pizza. Sort of the American foods. They were royal princes but had children's palates. The kitchen is the heart of many homes, it's where many kids do their homework, where friends gather for a quick cup of coffee, where families cook and eat together. During last night's A Very Berry Christmas special, Prince William admitted that he isn't a pro in the kitchen. Catherine is definitely the one who cooks, not me, he said. But it wasn't always that way. Back when the Cambridges were at St Andrews University, Prince William wooed Kate with his pasta sauce making prowess. Catherine also revealed that Prince George and Princess Charlotte liked to cook with her. According to a chief executive, she was telling us how much her children love cooking and how they cook for her. They made cheesy pasta the other day. One stirs the flour, one puts the milk and butter in, and they make salads and stuff. Food is important to her and she understands the links between mental health and physical exercise. But for the Queen, the kitchen is apparently a room that is best left unvisited. A source told that the monarch couldn't comprehend the amount of time that Prince William, Kate and their three children, George, Charlotte and Lewis, spent in the kitchen at their home in Anmore Hall. When the Queen visited the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge at Anmore Hall for the first time, she couldn't get her head around the fact that the kitchen is the main base for them, the source said.